Beauty is the opposite of perfection. It has to do with charisma, confidence, and character. And that is what Pepper Room Show seeks to celebrate. On this show today, we have yet another beauty queen who deserves to be celebrated. Ladies and gentlemen, drive with me to the Airport View Hotel as we pick our guest up for today's show. My name is Ekia Mwakwa. Wine, feel pumped. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons below 18 years of age. Not recommended for pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. After a long and stressful week, my husband and I received a surprise visit from my mother-in-law. Not that I have a problem with that too, but I don't have foodstuffs at home. Mom loves her food, hot and spicy. I wasn't even in the mood to cook today. Let me get some help. Top Shop came through to save the day. And I must confess, their delivery services are so reliable. Honey, food is ready. I'm so blown away. See how they are all enjoying the meal. Ah, so yummy, mouth-watering, sumptuous and delicious. Top Shop, Ghana's Good Food Brand.
you be my darling? Yes. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons under 18 years of age. This advert is FDA approved. Darling lemon drink. Taste it. Feel it. So, Namoko. Mm. Who is Namoko? Hey. <laughs> well, I'm in my final year. Bradford University College studying accounting. Wow. And still do modeling. Okay. I international do, or mm, international? International modeling, I've not had the time because I'm still schooling. Okay. You know, you have to travel for that and I've not had the time, but I'm still doing local modeling. It's still fine. It's still pretty. For me, it's look out. Yeah. Because I've had I've had a chat with a lot of mm -hmm. models, models and they seems not to be very okay with the modeling industry in Ghana. I would I would say it depends on your brand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but because for my brand, you can't ask me to do a job for free. I'm not doing it. It has never been a case of mine. So okay. I can't really speak on that because I believe that they, even designers know exactly what they want. Before I do any shoot, I like to know exactly what the designer wants from me. Then I just so if a designer knows what he or she wants, they know exactly who they want to work with. It doesn't matter the price they have to pay for that, provided the person is going to give them exactly what they want. So I've had to work with designers where they know exactly what they want and they know there's a price to pay. So for me, I don't really have a lot of friends who ask me to do it for free as well. So. I can't really, but I know it's been it's been a tough one for some of the models because mm -hmm. they are not being paid what they deserve because they're really good and they should be paid exactly what they deserve. My family were not really keen on having you contest the beauty pageants. They wanted me to go to school, excel, go to the university, graduate, and I had a different mindset. When I was in senior high, I contested in a mini pageant. They said it was Miss Girls Doll. Okay. I was so excited about it and I said, I will, I will contest for house too. I said, okay, I can't do it. Then I came first one. I, I was mad. We everyone said I was cheating. Cheat. Okay. They cheated. They cheated. I was the best dancer. Oh. Yeah, so after a while, after senior high, I told my eldest, the one that did my makeup, I told her I want to do more. She said, hey, madam, are you sure? Well, I want to do modeling. She would go everywhere with me just to do photo shoots. Okay. Because I was having clients. I needed to show something for photo. Then I said, I will contest for Miss Edgar. Everyone was like, what's that? You, won't you go to university? I said, no, I want to contest. But said, you could have done that too at the same time. So, as at that time, I put in, there were no funds for me to go to the university. Okay. So, I thought myself so it was just like you're just trying well and wait time and trying to make money somehow, somehow because I believe I could take myself to invest. Okay, then I did Miss Ed and I won and I went for Miss Ed and it was good. I love traveling. Wow, so I went after Miss Ed. Now people took me more serious in terms of money, mm -hmm. so I was getting jobs. And then after that. I did a few international pageants. Now people saw me more, so now I was getting good jobs. Okay. So in 2017, I sent I that was when I decided to go to school because I had had enough funds, you know. So I just applied. I applied for Radford and I got in. Then I started. Why Radford? Hmm. Why Radford? Mm -hmm. Because the there are a lot of universities. Yeah, the time I wanted to, I was okay to apply. It was right for that I, I could apply for because the year was um, already ending. And if I wanted to apply for Legon or Tech Road in the following year, mm. then I had to wait till September. And I had to weigh my options. And I thought I was growing older. So I just said, let me just apply for that for and see how it goes. Okay. Then I did and then went through. So I'm like, let me just go. Okay. I don't want to wait another year. Let me just go. Are you a music person? Yeah. Mm. I love music. Okay, so now give me your five top musicians in Ghana. Joe Metal, Diana mm. Hamilton, mm. Um, Sissy Chum. Okay. The fourth King person. Promise. Uh-huh. Yeah. And I then your the friend. <laughs> Then Kitty, Kitty's good. Okay. I like Kitty. Okay. 
let's, let's, let's put um, Sinasol there. Soul. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's good. Um, I would need you to sing a song each from the two, like two. You've mentioned five names, but mm. I, I want to be soft to you. So just wow. two from two of your favorite artists. No one else but you. <laughs> See, I don't know the words. Oh, you're <laughs> No one else but you. Okay. Bononi, Bononi, Bono. No one else but you. Um, Joe Metal featuring Pastor Isa. Mm -hmm. Your presence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep your presence dancing. We have a great voice. Take a sing forever. Your glory, show us your glory. If your presence doesn't need us, take us in with your glory. Show us your glory. <laughs> now I knew you'd embarrass me this way. Oh, no, nah. that is fine. <laughs> I, I am good. I sing in my chair, so ladies I'll and gentlemen, what do you MD want me to tell okay. now? So let's wait here. We've had other queens on the Please, show. Can you cut this? I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> 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 so it has been now on this show, and we've had quite an interesting conversation. We are here at Me Nails. We are going to get our nails and our pedicures done. So. We will meet later. Catch ya. So sweet, sweet, smooth, smooth. You are so gentle. You go by and celebrate. Oh, hey, oh, you go by and celebrate. Oh, hey, oh, you go by and celebrate. You go on so sweet, sweet, so smooth, so, smooth. so gentle. You go by and celebrate for all occasions. Hugo Wine, feel pumped. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons below 18 years of age. Not recommended for pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. support my music system. Mm, yeah, my bike. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Mr. Only One. Okay. Thank you. I'm supporting a new system. Now. And your well-being. Now. Let me see. Let me see. Fico 20 is not suitable for children under 12 years of age, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. A quality product from Joy Hepo Center. This advertisement has been better than approved by the FDA. Darling? Yes. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons under 18 years of age. This advert is FDA approved. Darling lemon drink. Taste it. Feel it. It's amazing how you have changed. This is why I said grooming is very important in the life of everybody. See how you have transformed from a normal girl to the queen that you are. You're looking pretty in this dress. Thank you. Okay, I want us to delve into your experience and what you went through during the Miss F competition. That's where you started from, right? Yeah. Miss F. So how did you come about the competition? Who introduced the competition to you? Okay, it was a pageant coach after that time. I was into modeling. And then he told me about Miss Ed as an environmental pad related pageants that when you win, you get to go, you travel to represent Ghana. And for the first time, I was really interested to represent my country. So I auditioned. And How was the auditions? Okay, the auditions were done at Wildlife. Okay. How many ladies went for A lot for of ladies came. Okay. Less than a hundred, but to me, it was a lot. Wow. Because that was my first time doing auditioning for any competition so okay. even though one may say ah, maybe less than a hundred it's not much to me it was a whole lot because they were beautiful and intelligent, intelligent as well as cool. but for some reasons they chose only 10 then the 10 went to the house were camped for about two weeks just two weeks and then the grand finale was at La Palm Royal so I, I, I want to know the experience you gathered during the competition how the grooming went because you, you, you weren't like this. No, I wasn't. How did you look like before? And okay. what would you say had happened afterwards? Yes. So before I was a tomboy, before I went for. Hey, how come <laughs> I keep on hearing this from all the models? Like I was a tomboy, I was a. Yeah. Why? I was a tomboy. Is it because of your height? I don't know, I used to play basketball. I told you I, was, I used to do sports in school. Mm -hmm. um, okay, bon appetit. Merci. <laughs> so yeah, I was a tomboy when I went. I would never wear anything either than sneakers. Mm -hmm. So, and then we we're groomed. Every day we did catwalk. Cat and we put three books. So that means, that means you weren't even comfortable walking, walking in heels? I was, well, I could walk in heels, but not as comfortable as I am now. Okay. Yeah. And how to walk poised without having the book fall off because mm. we have three books on your head and you oh. need to walk in a straight line so they don't fall off your head you know and chest out mm -hmm. and then we are taught how to address um, um how, do, how do i say it? a crowd okay public speaking what to do what not to do you know and then we're educated about a little bit more about the environment you know and we're given tasks as to what project you would like to embark once you are crowned the winner. And what did you do? Mine was on waste management. Okay. I started a trash and bin campaign. But your project had to be centered around um, yeah. environmental issues, right? Yes, precisely. Because when you go for the international pageants, it has to be something related to the environment, okay. climate, anything. So, how many girls made it to the finals, and how come you got the crown? 
What did you do different? What do you think you did different did, that made you win? I proved myself to be worthy of the crown. Okay. By, like, I was focused. I was determined. I wanted it bad, so I put my all. Mm -hmm. I had to make my own, um, I stitched my own national costume. I made it from scratch. I went to buy all the artificial flowers I needed for the outfit, and I okay. did it myself. Because I knew I wanted it so bad. Mm -hmm. If I show you the kind of heel I used for the pageant, you'll be stunned. Mm. It was after the pageant they realized the heels were not even good. Oh. I don't know how they realized after the pageant, but because I was so determined. And I, you didn't have the means to get a new heel? No, I didn't have it. Wow. I, I used some really terrible shoes, trust me. Wow. Yeah, but I was determined to win, so I made sure to learn the catwalk. So you won't even look at my shoes. Mm. You just look at the confidence and how I was walking. Wow. Okay. And you got the opportunity to represent Ghana in uh, Miss S World. Yeah. How did you do on the international stage? For my first time, I did amazing. I won three medals. One wow. One for tree planting, one for national costume. Wow. And one for cooking. <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Why? Did you guys... Organize a there cooking a competition, competition. Oh. and you cooked your Ghanaian dish. I wish I did that. No, but did what did you do? Everyone brought ideas mm -hmm. as to how to fry um, chicken so it, it's not local, mm -hmm. it's in between local and continental. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we did this whole um, pasta, the chicken, we did you no know, rice, mm. yeah, and we were um, we had judges to come taste. Okay, that. so my group. My group won okay. second place for that. That's good. And I was really happy to be part of that. Group. Okay, so which, uh, where did you get to on the international stage? I, d I was not part of the top 16 okay. or anything, but I was the At least you got three medals. To have made, like, to have won that number of medals. Oh, that's so great. Was, Impressive. I was really happy. And then Miss Intercontinental. Miss Intercontinental was a last minute something. I was not the one originally supposed to attend. Okay. The person who was supposed to go to um, that passed on. So I was just presented with the opportunity to go and I said, let me just take advantage okay. of it. So I was not prepared. Because I had like two weeks to attend. Mm -hmm. or, or a week, I think. So I was not prepared at all. But with the same mindset I have for Miss Earth, I knew I could do it. So when I went, I just decided to give my all. When Ghana was mentioned, there's a video I have. Ga when Ghana was mentioned as part of the top five, mm -hmm. before Ghana was mentioned, mm -hmm. all the ladies backstage that were watching, I mean the, the people I contested with, they were screaming Ghana. So you were part of the top five? Yes, I was part of the you top five. You did well. Thank you. You did well. They were, everyone wanted Ghana to be the representative from Africa because wow. Miss Intercontinental is more like a continental, a continental. Uh, competition. So when it was time to mention the number one from Africa, all the African ladies backstage mm -hmm. were mentioning Ghana. Mm -hmm. I think that was my proudest moment. Wow. For them to have want me to represent Africa, Africa. so bad. It means you did something yeah. impressive. Yeah, they were impressed by you, whatever. I did. Posi yeah, you did well. I was really happy and then we came in se um, third place, that second runner up. And Trust me, I didn't believe I would make it that far. Even though I knew I had what Second runner-up. But, you know, with international well. pageants, it's really difficult to, especially if you're African, to make it that far. Mm. Top five. Among 75 ladies. That's impressive. Thank you. Mm. Your parents, your parents must be very proud of you. My mom brags about me everywhere. How about <laughs> your dad? My dad, he's a little bit diplomatic, but I know what he does. Did they always support this dream? My dad, no. My mom, my mom did after I won Miss Ed. She was in her hometown when I did. And then she told everybody in their hometown I had won something before she got to Accra. Oh, that's she great. Went, like wildfire. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Hmm, the next five years. Um, I have to win an international pageant for Ghana. Wow. That has to happen. Wow. Yeah, it has so, to happen. You will enter into another international pageant. Hopefully. I wish you all Thank the you. luck in this Thank world. You. I need to actually Good luck. For Ghana. Good luck. In five years, I should have been one of the leading event planners, destination wedding planners in the country, and a 
chartered accountant. Wow. Maybe with two children. Who knows? Wow, or that's one, great. Two, I three. want to wish you luck in all your endeavors. I pray that this becomes a reality, okay? Thank you so much, Akia. Do you think pageantry is worth it? It is. Totally, 100%. It is. If you have, if you have the zeal, if you have the love and passion for it, go for it. Would you agree that whoever you are today and whatever you are today, you owe it to pageantry? 100% I would. The doors are open for me. I have no idea. God really works in mysterious ways. If God is blessing you through pageantry, just go that direction and take it. Thank you, Na. You've been a great guest. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we bring the Chop Chop segment to an end. We are moving on to the Oba segment. After a long and stressful week, my husband and I received a surprise visit from my mother-in-law. Not that I have a problem with that too, but I don't have food stuffs at home. Mom loves her food, hot and spicy. I wasn't even in the mood to cook today. Let me get some help. Chop <laughs> Shop came through to save the day. And I must confess, their delivery services are so reliable. Honey, food is ready. I'm so blown away. See how they are all enjoying the meal. Ah. So yummy, mouth-watering, sumptuous and delicious. Chop Shop, Ghana's good food brand. You are so sweet, sweet, smooth, you are so gentle. Hugo Wine, feel pumped. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons below 18 years of age. Not recommended for pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. For me, I'm a quiet baby. I'm at the bar segment. So, our purple room, do me dear. So, now they be a study. I'm a canon. So, or fun way say, and I share. I will have at the set and ma near dream dream. A brabomo and come on and a quaint with a swag. Remember, your brabono a tomb pong and my yay. Ain't it? Nay, a share. I'm a little bit of a chicken come more. I find a ma a brabomo and some and who now some a canon. So, now some more make her and they say today we are discussing women in politics. And pain pain or ayan a yes, a ma a ye underrepresented in politics and I in government. As so a no crana saying in a crane teach you a war yen a bibremu a hanum. And pain pain so very persuaded in who ever among your same moa. And what's a way yen ye ma brosso and I may make and say you have to be overly qualified and so an asebi ya do what to say would deserve it a se obey ye among your same o ye crum hanum. Na me won't pay for be a medium about Hanoma, ye baby di, you may dino, and Sanano, ye betcha who see a wire bar, may die a yama beja for a di, a di, a chill. I was not for Mamma Cobby being by the purple room, Jimmy dear so. Now said the Mekaya and Sanna, ye are quite a bois for and crat, one no, my train a year, or baby. Ah, why your politics are richly? Edna Bahai, but you say, Uncle Moe say. Now, Baba in America, no one say. As the time I will call Parliament, no, just a quiet parliamentarian, and I'm rash, be Jenny, a man in Peswas of Fono, no, we did in fear a Junusia, a year twenty six pay. Now, at that time, no, but NDC, a side of the air, she was actually the youngest female MP. Ah, and I just said, All Parliament, Hono. Now, we are in a second term. I was just having a discussion with her, say. So, Oba, our Sebi, Osa say, 
na otimi ekọ mahye bedwam first time second time na se yante se ni mpeso aso fo ni enyi nya no mu dia bobo na she's doing something right and who say na ma eto yansa fre no em se be 2 3 4 years ago so parliament house omo boti or ba wa bo no ho modin e wo ho and she was the one like first time na wonya sa abaso bodi na chese o bo no ho modin wo bo adwuma e wo e ma she bedwam e ho no enye obi a na me ka ne ho asem e se mp for north day constituency e ye jocelyn tete me am ni oba jocelyn na ho te se na me adon o ho de e Almost why Thank you. Said you are my role model. I am humbled. I say, bro, a nobody will tell you she's a beauty queen. I was for na. Na, be Boko, a de young coupon, I say. And they share what Hanoi Babbage train and come off up a boom with some more. Now I say so, Miss Studio audience, and so came one, it is when you say a bro. But there will be a I say, a song of a came when there now on so what ye a jar a shay and so yet a more say. Mamma Mahood, so Joyce. Okay. Emma will call Parliament now twenty six years. Yes, almost twenty seven. Almost twenty seven is a wing in yay. Net to say, Unya, when you say, when you Representing one person so far, it was a match with them. No, I know we saw some was say or ban. No, not to say you feel it. Okay, so thank you very much. Um, I hope you don't mind me speaking more of English. No, um, but you need to blend, blend English in the training, my Okay, so, so let me back at you. Of course, I'm obi at all. What can I say? Okay, so um, I wasn't born a politician. Okay, I can't say that. Um, when my parents gave birth to me, they knew I was going to do politics. But I had passion for serving people. From childhood, I remembered people would go to their farm and then come back and pick their kids from me because I always stand in for them. Like, oh, when you're going to them, I can come and leave your daughter with me. Okay. So I grew up having this affection. My, my villages. Yes. I you just all Papa Wuska because you, most of the baby. young women are when you are coming to the gym. Non Papa Wuska. My father was a teacher, and this one is just a joke. Our president just said that if you want to be a millionaire, then you get you better get a side job. So being a teacher wasn't a big deal. Mm. You know, how much was he earning? But I believe in the fact that um, God doesn't only use rich people. Okay. As far as you can do the work, and God believes in you. He gives you the power to do it. So I was actually in my doing my second degree when I decided to do politics. Wow. I came back and sky the best printed post stamp. It was a problem. Wow. But I believed in myself. I said something was just driving me. You can do it. Now my mom is a petty trader. Wow. Yes. Petty trader in the village. But God has been good. And then politics just as in any job we have the low moments mm. we have the setbacks and the barriers and all that but i believe if you're talking about the modern woman in politics it is the new female ah omuye politics to say okay and the new female i define it to be is obia you take your traditional values very seriously you blend it with respect for yourself first mm -hmm. your intellect how intelligent you mm -hmm. are love for people and how passionate you are mm. so when i blend all these things i always tell myself say i am not the only person at Marco school mm -hmm. after all there are professors my first election 2015 i contested with a professor and a lawyer and what did you do and right what did i do right i am i am an electorate myself i vote okay so i know what i want as a voter mm -hmm. it's for no reason that i never spend my weekends in accra Okay. Because I sat back some time ago and I was, like, I was like, we need a representation in parliament. The people want to see you come back home to tell them that this is what oh, I yeah, want to do for you. Say, and say. And if they give me the opportunity, now I'm in Accra but and give them information from Accra, then there's no difference between the person they let go and then brought me in. So it is just 
respect for the people and mm. respect for myself. If you don't respect yourself, you can't go out and respect any other person. Exactly. So it's been uh, my basic principles in life. Recently, we celebrated youth, International Youth Day, and I made a comment that I don't prioritize, like, this one comes first. The reason being that the moment you prioritize, like, this one comes first. The second thing becomes an option. Mm -hmm. Wait, they say, meet me at another time. So I always told myself that, oh, um, we all know, say, she's saying, we have like, a man's world. Where they are a man, or to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if I'm given the opportunity, I need to prove them wrong. Exactly. They always said, oh, and I, I remembered for the first time, an uh, independent candidate, Beba Novda, you know, it was my time. Mm. Somebody just said, oh, you, you, you made my social and so lost the election. I'll contest and make sure you lose the election. Mm. And the information he was sending around was, oh, he, she's a woman. She's going to get pregnant in parliament. She'll not be able to work. She'll do that. So I said, oh, God, is it my fault that I'm a woman? a woman? And I remember this quotation. I said, Second Timothy 1, 7. That says, I've given you power, not fear and timidity. So I believed that God gave me the power mm. to work. And lo and behold, my second time, I got pregnant before my election. I told myself, is it going to bring me down? Am mm. I going to lose my election mm. because I am pregnant? Seriously, I even gave birth and they didn't even know no. that I carried pregnancy because I was so determined. I told myself, my marriage or my daughter is not going to prevent me from representing the people. Neither is my representation in parliament going to prevent me from being a mother at, at, at home. So I would say that basically it's determination. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's determination. Uh, so I've made up my mind that so I'll let it work. Yeah. And then it's working. Great. Yeah, that's now, um, I think we are about 37. Oh, out of 265. The, women, the men are 200 and something. Wow. Yeah. We've not even reached the 50. Who are close to forty percent? Quite a crowd. No, 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 we've not reached. What do you say? A DNT na ma a year and represented in government. Oh, one, I think it's because a lot of people think women cannot hold the fort when it comes to a juma. Obi, I say a meme juma. With politics, you need to travel at night. Sometimes. From my constituency to this place, I do three hours. And if I leave around eight, you should just know the time I'm getting to Accra. So you ask yourself, women are a bit, uh, I don't want to say feeble, but we know that we have that passion around our work. We don't, we don't, hey, where the Mr. person may say. So for us, I believe that most of the problems come from us as women. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't tell yourself I can do it, mm. nobody's going to force you. Mm. If we always say that men are supposed to give us opportunity to shine, create your own table. Mm. Be around your own table. No man is going to take it from you. But if you sit and say, well, the men are taking it from us, the men are taking it from us, they will take it from you. Okay. Uh -huh. So I think some of the reasons is that, and mo most often um, they use this tag of, oh, as for a politician, you are sleeping around with this, excuse me to use that word, you are dating this person, oh, this man is the one giving you money. Why is it always men giving us money? Mm. We also they give men money. Money. We always do our own little, little jobs, and then that pushes us. And we have family that supports us too. And I think when I came to parliament, they said, I had about two, three men say, oh, I made her an MP. I'm like, I don't even know the mm. people saying they made me an MP. Wow. So how do they always want to make it look like? Take credit, sir. Take credit I know for what they have not even done. So. My dear. So when the parliament in Pai Neti Kumanum, you need the Ekosa or Mashabijim. Why do you think, say, am I underrepresented in government? Am I? You ain't me, Kenya, and who ye and Yama be a was seeing ye. You who say, oh, we dear, a beer, may an unquee a man in the umbest remain. Many be woo, and now for four umbecan dear family home. So we are always thinking about you, the next person, oh, Becca, a man, man, Tessa. A man, my omo omo pushy pushy omo home. Oh, quiet. I knew ye cry, oh, next time, or be bow, like I said, next time. Or bar be a horror. Or bar quiet, na knew ye. Now down for vocal or catch you before for so, or quiet, na knew ye no more sereno. No more dim home sick, no more sere. In seeing Yama be brave or hunty and ma, a young no more omosu. Do be beckon, or no one cassano. I knew ye, I didn't obey ye. 
we don't like taking risk. Men do, like, do take risk a lot. Okay. They know exactly what they want and they go after it. They don't care what the next person is going to see at all. And to be a woman, yeah, man, I, yeah, yeah, I am town for like we are exactly. our own enemies. Mm -hmm. Instead of pushing the sister, we won't push the mm -hmm. sister. Yeah, but say she come and sit and eat Eh, on to twenty and three. Yes, really. On to twenty and three. And yes, what you talk about? They are worried about me. On, on to twenty and three. But on to twenty and three. And this Saturday we will trim out all your bar. We be okay, okay. We be, we be so mpo. So we be. Okay, Joyce. I'm a big boy, Johnny Free Politics. I'm mm -hmm. um, yeah. Somebody like me, I'm a full of records. I should go and try. Like, I'm going to share some with me. I'm here. And I'm doing a campaign, Johnny. I didn't know how to say yes, I didn't. Politics, me, I think. So, you're right. Probably, maybe, uh, it's because of the way it's presented to us. Like, it's difficult. It was a way you say. It was a way you say, answer. But normally, you know, it's, ever, it's just about having the passion. Mm. And politics is just about seven people. Mm. I we didn't even discuss it, but when I saw you earlier, I was like, "Oh, why don't you give it a try?" And you were like, "Oh, <laughs> you are not supposed to." I don't always attend funerals. I don't always go to the church. Yeah, come on, the one where yeah, I want to ma. No, imagine there are about six funerals <laughs> in a day. I'm not sure you can attend all of them, mm. Anna. Mm. You can attend all of yeah, them. Come on, you want to ask you. How do you attend six funerals <laughs> in a day? And it's not like when you when you enter a chair, the pastor is going to stop for you to finish talking and leave. Mm -hmm. They want you to listen to their preaching. Mm -hmm. They want you to give money. So the maximum you can do in a day is like two or three. You understand? But the moment you make yourself available always, the people know that if you had the chance, you would have been there. Mm -hmm. My member also. And pain pain, you know, so call in new even um, me the free parliament are by a new memo. I am not positioned a, a, a mood, do no. I am time for mama. Do you think say it's because I remember no, you know, most of say a bad boss say on me around because most men are not comfortable taking instructions from women. And I say, yeah, na yeah, 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 competent enough to handle such positions. Means me can say, man, you're competent enough. Because um, I did see an abe man is seeing aye no, and one no ban in Swiss here. Yeah, na yeah, um, me can say aye a drink. They were aye drink from ma hono. Ene was sense sa. Aye drink say be ma wo throw hono ma obit me aye jumani aye sing oba for what reason meaning? Oba no so so wo obit me aye ni aye. Yeah, omo drink yama be bring oba no kola. Because he and I am no more time, no, or bad yank was on shack kitchen. Now near Gian, and now show no seven. Now she and Colanso. By school, school near and fine shame. And this hard Jane and I cost war business a seal. And to mark crack, cost school or more year and yamaka, say, cry ye, who so bit me a year. Still nigh a dream when you found my bema. Okay, I was saying for people who know who saw ocean and could be an answer, yes, and you made your way say a bravo. And see, you ever call aqua for Jia Bois from Crad, so now I'm son, I know, mommy and fast the PC and call my own more. A Higo wines, and I say, yes, and you made your way say a bravo, Higo wines, a cra, a year and supper, papa, I more de a free Germany, a dear baby, we a jam mine, so I boy in Nippa, and she said, what top no, a year wedding engagement, outdoor and said, yeah, tea, be an appointment to be able to be an. O tons of frail mob, being a bee, now mow upon tono, aqua ye, a day, and mow, sir, and so, and I want no doffo, more cock picnic. And I think you may be on no doffo, eh, you know, when you go one night, the mow doffo, and it's in bed, the day, the Emma be a aqua ye, and mow, sir, and so, and I ALG transport and logistics, and so, I say, I send you media, we say, a bro, Alisa hotels, or Master Yasna, did you media, we say, a bro, Sana, Airport View Hotel, and so, I say, I snap, did you media, we say, a bro. Sa and so and a machine a shemi a seller's hair shine and a de mammy me makeup ah my ye a ye beauty glow gh on the way to me and mammy home I have say my tadia a shemi a ye do nuki fabrics and a mammy fabric no na style no jesse's collection and a kickaboo mammy me pabwa a ye mastavia collection na a omo omo my a gianni d and my own a toy a was set ye so a chop shop chop shop. Almost three branches back, or a war, 
a year is legon back or ever airport and about consul or dam so man. So we year wedding and answer party and I say Jimmy Consum per month for a man a bro mo in Yanu Mufi and so tonsa a fresh chop shop for a more a barber shamo and maybe be a co a ye. Mom, my chair one engine a boar for you in crats or a bad yakano yet versus so a So sweet, sweet, smooth, smooth. You are so gentle. Hugo Wine, feel pumped. Drink responsibly. Not for sale to persons below 18 years of age. Not recommended for pregnant women. This advert is FDA approved. support me new system. Mm. <laughs> yeah, my bike. But you are in here. Ah, let go to the bike. Me go support you new system. Hey, I t-shirt. t-shirt. Ah, me t-shirt. You t-shirt. Boss, Mr. 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 Only one. Okay. Vico, I support you new system. And your well-being. Let me see. Vico 20 is not suitable for children under 12 years of age, pregnant women, and lactating mothers. A quality product from Joy Herbal Center. This advertisement has been better than approved by the FDA. I'm seeing for more cover beyond the bath there, purple room, Jume, dear so. Now, a bar segment, and I go so I did a brew one. And I'm ready, I drew a say a bequeen studio audience, no, near Quaco Joe, Moso, and Sam Bakumi and Ubia, on Besson, what kind of the boy Jume Dino, so more and same beside me, so on Besson, Mubusa, a year, young young man, no more, a ditch may in so I'm with me a busa or more. And but all be war, and same beside me, and I say, or war, I send people so the four and seven equals one. Massim Busa, Miss Ambusan, is a. A mere baby or mammo. A wong a war war on Pesso so pet, Anna, when you were one one. Nasa and Sister Swa, more bain a war, our de bois, wong a wound knee on Pesso. Okay, that's right. Okay. So, um, I want to answer any question first. No problem. Okay. Um, growing up, I never thought of becoming a member of parliament. If I sit here and tell you, I knew I planned it, it's a whole lie. And even when I was doing my um, first degree, I didn't have any idea. It was when I started with my second degree, then somebody approached me that, oh, we would want you to join politics on campus. I was like, what am I going to do? So let's try it, I want you to do this, blah, blah, blah. That was when it started, not long ago. Then I came to contest. Contesting, no? and you say, Obina Kadam say, Oh, co contest you are. Maybe after school, maybe I won't need you, maybe I will be near. Obey to me, say, and as I say, No, I didn't have that perception. It was a drive that I can do it. Even I wasn't going in, say, Mikwa, I'm going to win an election and go to power. I didn't even know what, it, what the benefits it would bring to me. Because when I won the primaries, for one year before I ever had main election, no? I was more of acting like the MP. They were always in my house. We had to cook bags of rice a day and all that. I never looked at how it was draining me. As far as the people were happy, no? I think I felt I was going in the direction of every Nyankupon Ho because I believe in him. He's been my everything from day one. So I knew he was in for, he was in everything I was doing. Now, 
uh, when it comes to, say, is it just about women in my constituency? Every constituency has some kind of funding from government. So uh, when you come to, let's say, North Dye constituency, there is some fund which is not so huge that comes from, par from parliament. Say, hey, yeah, now disaster, BSC. Maybe you need to buy roofing sheets for people. You don't need to go and then hit your head on a wall or something. Say, there are 20 bundles here to be performing your oversight responsibilities as an MP. No, obey to me, I call to not this year. Chiaka, what happens is that for you to decide that you are helping someone from that fund from a different community or constituency, you know, um, it's a bit some way. Say, maybe I say 20 percent, I am a love there. The same 20 percent goes to Lejo Kuku. Okay. The same twenty percent goes to uh, who constituency? Yeah, Bosumchi. Bosumchi. So that fund goes to everybody. So if I want to come out and support you outside my official way, and uh, probably my salary. Okay. Say be I met me the salary of boy, and not say as an MP, you know, may may resources as attached to my constituency. Okay. And auditors come around. What do you use this money for? Is it for the purpose of the community? Is it for the purpose of the, your constituents? Or you're just doing a doyer? But I have an NGO that I run myself. So if I want to help somebody out of my NGO, that's not part of my constituency, okay. but me as Joyce Lynn Tete. I did say what you said, Miss Anna, but I'll be so busy. I'll be so busy. Stella, my question is about Honorable Joyce Lynn Tete. I'm going to say, Wow, well, my son Waba. That means or one family or run. And that's in I don't really understand. Oh yeah, then no yeah damn yama. Then you push in my oh yeah damn yama. I want to know. How are you able to combine a war, a fear share, a juma yeah? Maybe be also our village. Oh yeah, oh they are crying. Wow. She's in Accra. Okay, so um, by the grace of God, I think I have people around who are very supportive. So it's not too difficult to just leave baby at home or leave your house and say, I'm going to the constituency. And it's not every day. Like I said earlier, may, may prioritize it, say, this is more important than this. And when I'm with my daughter, it's just me and her. Nothing comes between us. And I think God has been faithful to me. He's been so good. Say, I didn't get a daughter who is like crying, crying, crying baby. So like I always have to be with her. She, I don't know how she understands that her mother is a very busy person. I just blend it. Even if I were not to be a politician, I'll still get up and go to work. So I don't see why being a politician should be kind of um, more difficult than other. I can't say that my job is more difficult than what Ikea does. We all do our, perform our duties. We all want to see Ghana grow. So I always make sure, say, me here wake a cry. I do this one. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know how to put it, but I don't see any of them being ahead of the other. And then we hardly get people who come to support without pulling you down. Mm. There are a lot of friends that you bring home or you bring to your workplaces. The moment they come in, they only see the surface. And then how do I also get here? Okay, is it somebody who is supporting her? How do I break the person down? We've had those encounters one or more times, but I have told myself that those people are equally not going to break me down. If they can do it, I'm sure they would have been there. So they have tried it. How do I always, or how do I also still get my work done without even bringing those people dream breakers, dream shatters? Why, how do I still keep my friends without allowing them to come between my job and myself? Because these days, when you meet people, they present themselves as angels. And the moment you get them close, they are mm. breaking you down here and there. So I maintain a formal relationship with people. When I need you to come in to perform as a friend or as somebody, I always put that barrier there that, hey, this is my job. I love to wear jeans trousers. I love to wear dresses. Then I told myself, okay, is that what my people want? If that's not what they want, let me do what they want. It's for them, not me. So basically, it's just about 
telling myself that this is what fits me. This is what God has given to me. Let me put in my best. If the people come out one day and say that, no, we don't want you again, you wash your hand. You've given your best. I think that's, that's what has been pushing me okay. all this while. Okay. Pepper room and now we share ye. Na me did say we see any ma be bre every mu. That's an eh. Yes, I did the change say every bre wo. In the kuswa say maybe a pepper room a time ever so be ano. We be share wa hana oni ye a baba share jumedi we say. Ma menta ya boa for ah almost so ya sne me di jumedi we say every bre wo a say. A ye Hugo Wines, a ye Alisa Hotel, a Port View Hotel, ALG Transport and Logistics, and uh, Jamila Homes, and uh, Sellers Hair Shine, a ye Beauty Glow GH, Donuki Fabrics, Jesse's Collection, Mastavia Collections, and uh, Chop Shop Ghana, Yangupong in Shamuna, Selma Soyasne. Offer a Druni Retri and Sir Afre, a ye Hugo Wines for now, I'm a very fresh in ye. I will show you so. Na, that's it. The best sign is Shiawaha. Me, Dean, any equipment, Nan so obey me, Afremi, dear Shanty God.